from Silosis. Um, these are our guitars, uh, Reverend Sensei models. This is Sensei HB. It's the RA. And uh, we've only recently hooked up with them. Uh, we just did a tour in the US with Lamb of God over November, December, and um, they're a company out of Detroit, uh, quite small, but um, really like the look of their guitars, sort of like quite a classic looking style, but um, kind of like a Les Paul meets an SG in a way, but um, the best of both worlds, you've got the high access and you've got the thickness, and uh, they custom make all their own pickups as well, which is cool. Those are the rail hammers, yeah, rail hammer, yeah. which are like super tight for uh, picking, but still pretty full for the high notes. Um, yeah, so we've only just had these not too long and because it's just been Christmas we've barely played them at home as well, so um, still getting used to playing them, but they're really comfortable guitars, um, so yeah, check them out. Our typical um, warm-ups, I guess we both do just the standard chromatic, but um, I don't really like doing warm-ups that sound rubbish like that, so <laughs> normally I'll do stuff like uh, going up and down the modes, uh, up one shape and down the other, which is a great uh, practice routine thing to do and also just good at warming up and getting the modes in your head, so I just do something like... So I'm back at the octave and then down again. Um, but I think most commonly we just play riffs that we're about to play during the set, yeah. or solos. Um, Depends how cold I am when I'm warming up as well. If I'm freezing, then uh, yeah, I'll do the old chromatic stuff. Otherwise, just go straight with some riffs. Or yeah, I always find just legato is amazing for um, for warming up and then, and then getting the shredding going as well. It's never normally um, the left hand that is a problem. Funny enough, for us, it's normally the all that kind of stuff that we do. So that's uh, a big part of what we do before we play: just rhythm stuff and just riffs that we're about to play and get these muscles ready to go. We'll just show you through uh, some of the riffs from our new song Fear the World, of our new album Monolith. And um, uh, I, can't, I think I wrote this one at the practice room. Um, and I was just sort of doing hand ones and pull offs, just sort of warming up. And uh, the main riff goes like this. So there's a lot of um, palm muted, fast picking. I like the idea of starting high and the riff going down, which isn't normally common for metal riffs. And something that we both use a lot in all our music, which is kind of a signature to our sound, is inverted chords. Because we're only, um, because we're only playing standard E tuning, um, they're kind of, if you palm mute them the right way, it's the kind of secret weapon to us being kind of heavy. If you palm mute, you know, really dig in, um, let the chords swell, like we, we use them quite a lot. So um, yeah, that, that riff kind of has a lot of what we do just in one riff. So we'll, we can play through the verse riff of that now. So, um, they kind of repeats. Um, so yeah, there it is. That's the verse from Fear the World. Up next, we're going to go through some uh, examples of us uh, harmonising. This is from a song called Out from Below. Uh, and I'm just doing basic minor, major, thirds above what Bailey's playing. So there we go. Uh, one thing that I like to do because we're a metal band and we can't really do these big, nice, interesting chords for loads of distortion is uh, outline uh, maybe chords or uh, weird sounding arpeggios using sweet picking. So I tend not to do it in a cheesy 80s shred way in the solo. I tend to save it for um, more hypnotic looped kind of things. So this is from uh, a song called Imperial and um, I've not been warming up too long so we'll see how good it is. So. Right, this is the uh, solo section from A Dying Mind, so... 